Welcome guys, today we'll be learning about Kirchhoff's laws. So we'll be learning both the Kirchhoff's law that is Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. So first it is Kirchhoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law which is also known as KCL. So let me write the, how the law states. It states that in any electrical network electrical network the algebraic the algebraic sum of currents meeting at any node of a circuit is zero so this is Kirchhoff's current law it states that the ordinary electrical network that algebraic sum of currents meeting at any node of circuit is zero to understand this let me show you a diagram suppose this is a node currents are coming so suppose this is I1 this is I2, this is I3, this is I4, and this is I5. So we see that current coming is I1, I2, and all I3, I4, and F5 are leaving the current. So according to Kirchhoff's law, we can write that. See, suppose if we take current entering to be as positive, we can write I1 plus I2, and current leaving the circuit is we assume it as negative so minus i3 minus i4 minus i5 is equals to 0 this is our Kirchhoff's current law to remember to understand this or like remembering this we write to easily remember this we write it as i1 plus i2 is equals to i3 plus i4 plus i5 so by writing this we can easily remember that current entering should be written in one side and current leaving should be written in out another side on the right hand side so this is our KCL the KCL also proves the existence of conservation of charge so this proves that charge are convert conserve this proves charges in a circuit is conserved So now we'll be learning about Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff's voltage law or KVL. So it states that the algebraic algebraic sum of voltages or voltage drops in any closed path in a network in a network traversed in a single direction traversed in a single direction is zero so to understand this let me show you a circuit diagram suppose this is a closed circuit that is closed part means you have to consider a loop or a mess so let me take a circuit simple circuit so suppose this is V1 this is R1 V2 R2 R3 suppose so to use KVL we have to assume the direction of current so we always assume it to be clockwise so i suppose it i so now we will take it as to use curse of voltage law we will assume that suppose current is flowing in this direction so this is positive this is negative positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative so we write it like this v minus v1 plus IR1 plus V2 plus IR2 
plus i r three will be equals to zero. So v one. So this is our culture's voltage law. To remember this or write in very easily way, we we write like this. Just we have written that current entering in one side and current leaving this side. So we are like write like this. The power the the sources which consume power should be written at one side and the sources which give power should be written at another side. So basically to write it easily, I R one plus I R two plus I R three. Now we have to see. So we are assuming the current to flow this direction. So V one should be positive and V two is in the opposite direction. So minus V two. So this is how we will write our equation. From here you can write I is equals to V one minus V two upon R one plus R two plus R three. So this is how you write Kirchhoff's voltage law and you find equation and you can easily calculate the current and other stuffs so if you had any problem comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you